All right, now we're going to look at Slicer to be used to make G-code in order to 3D print. Okay, so Slicer. Both Mac and PC, it's the same thing. You look for the Slicer uh, icon. In the workflow, we downloaded a configuration file called Spider-Man. Spider-Man is local to the 3D printer that you're using. In other words, uh, the 3D printers that are in the lab have a very specific configuration. So Spider-Man is married to those printers. So load configuration. Spider-Man. I would suggest maybe taking that file Spider-Man, INI, and putting it on your desktop or putting it somewhere safe so you have it. In it contains everything about layer height, infill. If you have a, um, an object that's really tall, that has overhang, we use support material. In this example, we do not have support material. It's just a flat keychain, and yeah, it doesn't have any overhang. So we're going to turn this one off. Get in the habit of turning this on and off, but only turn it on if it's a really tall object. And overhang means something like this. If I have, let's say, a, a little G.I. Joe figure, and he has his hand held out, his hand is an overhang. All right, we're going to add, and we're going to add that keychain that we made, the repaired one in this example. Looks like that. Incidentally, we don't want to go past this window. We want to keep within it. There's scale. If we ever got to the point where it was too big, we can always scale it down. Sometimes it's handy to rotate things. If you have a long object, it's better to have it so uh, the rotate value was what it was this way. Now we might have to do that just to get it back. There we go. You can also make copies. Let's say you want to make a, your friend a copy. You hit plus, now you have two. We'll just run with two. Let's export G-code. And now you're seeing that this file is getting really large. I mean, not only it's a repaired G-code. Um, I kind of match it up to the file, so if it was even this file name, I don't mind. So I'm going to just save it out. Alright, so that's how you export G-code. Please move on in the workflow.